Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome to Adam McCullough TV. I am Adam. We have just finished the epic paddock watch along as Manchester United beat Aston Villa at Villa Park. 3-0 to make it 16, 17 games unbeaten. I don't know how many games unbeaten it is anymore because United are absolutely steamrolling anybody that comes into our path. And this was a Premier League record. Four games on the spin, four games on the bounce. We've beaten teams by three goals or more. That is a Premier League record and today it was all about Murder Mason Greenwood. It was all about Anthony Martial. It was all about Manchester United's front three, Pogba and Bruno behind them. And it's funny because we started the game and we didn't even play that well at the, uh, at the early 15, 20 minutes. I thought Villa looked the most likely to score or threaten without really threatening if you get my drift. They were like, they're having a lot of possession, having a few dangerous moments, but never really threatened Manchester United. But you thought United look a bit quiet here, a little bit sloppy, not quite at the races just yet. But we managed to get ourselves going again. There was no changes yet again from Manchester United. And how good is that to finally have a team where you can almost say, I know what our best team is. I know who our best team is, where each player is going to play. And I'm pretty much sure Oli's going to pick most of those players. Can you remember how many times as Manchester United fans over the last couple of years we've thought, what's our best team? Our manager doesn't even know who our best team is. He doesn't even know how to play football. But somehow... We're, like, we got through and we were thinking, oh yeah, is this alright? But actually, no. Ali's doing it right. He's got Manchester United players fighting for those spots in that team. He's got Manchester United players playing for every single game. Playing in the right manner. Playing in a way that Manchester United are used to. And it's fucking great to see. Oh, everyone knows, you've all seen me on Adam McCola TV, on Devils, which is now Paddock and all that stuff. Talking about Ali and saying... I want him so bad with all my heart to be a success as Manchester United manager. To see him lift the trophy for the club would be, I think I'd cry if I saw that. Just to see that full evolution of him from, you know, player to manager and lip, like it would be very, very emotional. But when he got the job and when he came in, I was a little bit, hmm, should we be giving the job on a permanent basis? Would he get the job at any other top club? I didn't feel that way. But now you look at the work he's doing. And I feel like if United were to sack him, there's many other top clubs that would be looking around thinking, actually, this guy knows what he's doing. He's brought in the right kind of player. He's spent the right money he's on the right players. He's got the players that he had playing even better than they were. Name me one player that's not playing as well as he was under Mourinho or Van Aal or any of those players. You can't because there isn't. Maybe David De Gea, that's it. And that's because he was freakishly at this level. And then, you know, He's gone down to like a middle level average goalkeeper in the Premier League level. But you look at it and all he's getting everything out of the players that he has. He's got the players competing for spots. And you look at some of the... After we got the goal today, look, the first goal came from a penalty. Bruno Fernandes got brought down. It was a questionable one. Steve was saying it weren't a penalty in his opinion. In my opinion, it was a penalty. Um, I know you could see it probably not given, but I feel like that's given as a free kick every single day of the week. So therefore, it should be a penalty inside the box. I get it. Bruno stepped on him first, but ultimately it was clumsy from the defender and he brought Bruno down. So therefore, it's a penalty. United got the penalty, took it. There was never any doubt from Bruno Fernandes. He slighted that one away. And then after that, United took control of the game. You felt sorry for Villa, they had their moment, United hit them, got the goal, and that was it. We took over. Mason Greenwood got another goal for United. Now he's one behind, um, I think it's Robbie Fowler's, no, not Ro Robbie Fowler's record of 10 goals as an under 18 in the Premier League. He's not going to get to Owen's record of 18, but he's going to be sitting in there around second at the end of the season. And that's phenomenal when you look at the names that are on that record. Mason Greenwood, Michael Owen, Robbie Fowler, Wayne Rooney. These are supreme goal scoring talents that have played in this country in the Premier League. And he's sitting up there right with them. And I look, I think about Wayne Rooney, and I haven't seen a player come through since Wayne Rooney that you look at and you just think, this guy is made to be a Man United player. He's made to play football, and he's definitely going to be world class. And that's how you feel when you see Mason Greenwood. Because he's, he just makes it look so easy. And I still think there's so much more to come from him. I sometimes feel like he's getting through games without really putting in everything. But he'll have one or two moments where he just he just shows his quality and scores those goals. Left foot, right foot, here. He, he can send you all over the place. Defenders don't want it with him. They don't know where to go. We saw it against uh, Bournemouth the other day. He looks like he's going to shoot on his right foot. 
lets it go across his body, takes it on his left foot, and he did that here. He had a chance just before um, where, you know, he, he took a shot. He hit the goalkeeper straight at the goalkeeper, and we kind of thought, you know, that's weird for Mason Greenwood. He probably should have scored that. He probably should have had a better shot from there. And this is a kid. This is a kid. And then the second one, there's no chance he's not taking that one because, you know, he's already had a sighter. He's already had a sighter on goal. And that's the thing. For a boy, you normally think, all right, he's got the raw ability, he's got the talent, he's got the potential, but mentally he needs to work on that side of things. Mason Greenwood looks like he already has that clinical mentality, that mentality of a footballer that's made for Manchester United. Remember when Daniel James scored it at an equaliser? And I'm not digging out Daniel James, but he celebrated in front of the Stretford end. I'd do that too. Mason Greenwood did the same against Everton and said, fuck that, give me the ball, I'm going to go and score. That's how incredible he is. And I wouldn't be surprised if next season he's getting 20, 25 goals. Because it's just so, con it doesn't look like his, ment his mental, his mentality, his head can get affected by the success he's having at the moment. He's just so clinical and so focused on improving. And when you see that he's got the like, most teams have one star boy. We got Rashford, Marshall, Greenwood, we got all these geezers around us. Our front three's quality. Bruno and Pogba, quality Pogba finally getting a goal. Um, you know, he's only played about 10 appearances for United this season, but he has been, like Joe said earlier, over 400 days since he got a goal. Um, and look, those are facts. But the facts are as well, he's the best midfielder in the world. He's the best midfielder in the world. I'm so happy he's still at Manchester United. And I'm so happy that he is now playing regularly with a team that justifies Manchester United's name but also is the right team around him because when we signed him we didn't say bruv you're going to be playing with Andreas Pereira and that we didn't say that we said we're going to be buying players to try and push us on to be challenging for the trophies and now it looks like we're finally getting to that stage we can't get carried away though and I love Ali because he's in the players ears he's in the players ears and he's telling them you know, you can't get carried away. You have to keep improving. Players are going to come in and take your spot if you don't. He's keeping everyone on their toes and he's making sure that we push on. Because ultimately, for as many games unbeaten, we're still fifth in the league. You know what I mean? And whilst that might get you a Champions League spot this season, it's not guaranteed to get you a Champions League spot this season. So we have to now make sure we keep pushing on to the end of the campaign, win every single game, and then we're in the Champions League for next season. And then we can push on and continue to improve, hopefully. But it just feels so good to be a Manchester United fan right now. So, so good. And I speak about the goals. I spoke about Pogba's goal, Bruno's goal, Mason Greenwood's goal. None of them were even my man of the match. Anthony Martial was my man of the match because his performance was all round quality. From doing the dirty work on the edge of our own 18-yard box or just dropping deep to win the ball and all that. Um, you look at his, his link-up play with Mason Greenwood um, after he had won the ball back. Um, and you know set him up for his goal in the second half he nearly scored the goal of the season I swear if he scored that I would have been running down the road somewhere here with no clothes on it was an absolutely incredible move that nearly paid off for us and to see him walk off the pitch and be so frustrated at not scoring it's the mentality that I want him to have I want him to have that mentality we speak about great goal scorers like Ruud van Nistelrooy and all these guys they were pissed off when they didn't score and we've seen that from um from Anthony Martial today. United win 3-0, he don't score, he's angry. I love it. We've seen it from Marcus Rashford against Sheffield United. We won 3-0, his mate scored a hat-trick. He didn't score, he weren't happy. I love it. I wanna see my strikers wanting to score, greedy for goals. Not that it affects their performance, but so that it pushes them on to continue success and pushes them on to keep knocking down these targets and scoring more goals for Man United. I thought Martial's all-round play today was excellent and it showed you how much more comfortable he is becoming as a Manchester United player and as that focal point as our number nine. So hats off to him. But overall today, Mason Greenwood will get all of the headlines and rightly so because on our hands we have an incredible young talent, the like of which I don't think we've seen in a very, very long time. You think of the likes of Ryan Giggs, you think of the likes of Wayne Rooney and the young players that have broken through and when you look at them immediately you see world-class talent. And I don't think it's a stretch to say we see that in Mason Greenwood. He's going to be going to the Euros next year. He's going to be playing for Manchester United next year. He's 18 years old. The world is at his feet. Oh, what a player we've got on our hands. What a player. He might end this season with 20 goals. Can you believe that? We've been crying out for Marshall and Rashford to score 20 goals for the first time in their career. And Mason Greenwood's just going to do it for the first, first season in his. How much of a joke would that be? The geezer is a joke. And all i got to say is, Mbappe!
Come outside because Mason Greenwood wants a word with you, bruv. Anyway, make sure you're hitting that like button, you're commenting, you're sharing, you're subscribing, keeping it locked to Adam McCola TV, and of course, subscribing to Stretford Paddock as well. The link is in the description below. All the fan cams are over there, so make sure you go check them out and the reactions from the watch along too. But for now, I have been Adam McCola. Man United are fucking winning again, and I'm out of here.